It's Pastor Keith, and it's morning prayer for Friday, May 24th, 2024. And the psalm for this first Friday after Pentecost is Psalm 29. It's a hymn to the God of the storm. Not something we want to particularly get excited about here in Hawaii necessarily, because uh, storms portend all sorts of destruction. But here it is. Ascribe to the Lord, O heavenly beings. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory of his name. Worship the Lord in holy splendor. The voice of the Lord is over the waters. The God of glory thunders. The Lord over mighty waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is full of majesty. The voice of the Lord breaks the cedars. The Lord breaks the cedars of Lebanon. He makes Lebanon skip like a calf and Syrian like a young wild ox. The voice of the Lord flashes forth flames of fire. The voice of the Lord shakes the wilderness. The Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The voice of the Lord causes the oaks to whirl and strips the forest bare. And in his temple all say, Glory! The Lord sits enthroned over the flood. The Lord sits enthroned as king forever. May the king give strength to his people. May the Lord bless his people with peace. And I think that last line, may the Lord bless his people with peace, is key to all of this. Again, context matters. And the Psalms were written over centuries. Uh, but this was little mountainous Judea, maybe the northern kingdom of Israel, still a mountain kingdom of sorts, so that when they talk about their God of glory being powerful over all creation, remember, it's a little God amidst all of the gods of the great powers. And so uh, we've got all this. Uh, I'm going to turn that down. I forgot to do that. There we go. So again, they're shouting in a world full of shouting gods. They're shouting that their little God of Israel is the creator of all, which is a different thing from a great power like America saying, our God is great. Totally different. Think about that. And I'll say more about it as we go along. But may the Lord bless his people with peace, a small mountain kingdom always at risk of being trampled. Mm. Well, one of the things, too, about all this is that science and faith do go together. And I'm going to pray a prayer giving thanks for science, for the God of creation, the God of mystery. Epule kako. God of mystery, you made the universe with its marvelous order and chaos, its atoms, worlds, and galaxies, and the infinite complexity of living creatures. We give you thanks for all who study the mysteries of creation and ask that their work may increase our curiosity, wonder, and joy, that we may come to know you more truly and serve you more humbly. In the name of Jesus Christ, your wisdom and your word. Amen. And now, may that mysterious God, the one who created us, the one who redeemed us, and the one who blesses us, sanctify you, justify you, love you, and protect you and guide you throughout this day. Amen. <laughs>